Regan Todd joins me now here in uh, beautiful New Zealand. Everyone says about the weather. Mate, this is a sensational place. You know, we've been pretty lucky the last couple of days. I must have knew you are coming. They're looking, at, they're, they're looking after me. Mate, it's Cup Week, um, which I keep saying is a cup fortnight. Um, it's a big time for New Zealand harness racing over here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, even like the, the lead-ups and that have been great, mate. Like All the good horses are out, and yeah, it makes for some great racing to watch. It is great, and everywhere you go, um, even Rangiora yesterday, I know they were lower quality horses, but the racing's still so competitive, but the crowds, the atmosphere, people are right up and about about it the whole time. Yeah, it's, just, it's all around the country now, just everyone's sort of getting into that Christmas spirit as well, that's, that's also massive for us around that time of year. It's Christmas for all the harness people this week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How's it going, mate? Um, Training-wise, um, I've you know, got to know you a lot better at uh, the Weanling sale back in March, but how's, how's it all going as far as the training goes? Yeah, no, things are going good. We've just been um, ticking away, but getting, getting some nice ones around us. Just uh, with the change of season and that, we've sort of had a bit of a quiet sort of three or four months through the winter time, and uh, you look to step things up sort of from now on in through the new year and early into next year. It's you guys' first time at that. We've had two years of it now, and, and people worked out, yeah, you don't have to have your horses in work, and... Uh, takes a little bit of getting used to it, but do you enjoy that side of it? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon it's been great for the horses. Like, There's some just come in now that, that get that bit extra time, and even with the babies, like they've got a whole year just to play around with, so I, I think it's great. You were there at the Wingland sales, you know, looking for horses for the future. You're always on the hunt looking for horses. How competitive is it over here? Because, um, you know, I suppose the pool is getting smaller, if you like, like uh, less and less horses each year being bred. Um, how competitive is it? Well, even that weanling sale, like I think we had a good crack at half a dozen that you couldn't get. Like they're, they're so dear for for that age, I thought, but it just shows the quality of stock that it is. So but that's the thing you got to you got to buy them to replace the ones that we sell to you. Or... <laughs> Keep selling them to, to the Aussie. There's a bit of a change in that too, though. There, there is a, a bit of an emphasis around keeping your racing stock going, which is keen here in New Zealand. Yeah, that's that's good too. But at the end of the day, too, so like some of the money it just gets a bit silly and and and. It'll, in reality they're not going to win it here so, so you know got to move the odd one on how many do you train how many are you keeping work uh we, we sort of stick around to the sort of 25 35 in that in that in that bracket so we're quite busy at the moment we've got half of southland staying with us so that's that's quite cool having, having the boys up and um yeah it's um, pretty flat out but there's some nice horses going into next week do you enjoy that part with people coming and visiting? I suppose because you guys come and visit them, I suppose, as well. Yeah, it works both ways. Like, I always send them down to, to Nathan or Craig, and um, yeah, it works out great like that. And I think I think they're enjoying a bit of a working holiday. Does it make it quicker or slower? I, I would imagine probably slows things down a bit when they're when you've got so many visitors. Yeah, we're up to, I think we've got about, there's 47 here at the moment, so there's plenty of, plenty of horses, but we, yeah, we just cruise, there's, there's no rush. It's got a beautiful place here, you've got two tracks. Yeah, so this is um, Lavros Lodge, Capros Kudzika's place, so. Um, He's had great horses over the years. Master Lavros, when we were at Mark Jones's, he was a good horse. Heracles, he won the cup. There's, there's heaps of others, but um, yeah, it's a great setup. It's tracks the same size as Addington. And you also got a swimming pool and a walker there as well. Same size, same same shape? Yeah, yeah. probably um, this bend here is probably a bit, bit better shape than the Addington Showgrounds bend. <laughs> Do you tell them that when you go there? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Walker, swimmer, you, you don't want for too much here? No, and that's the thing, and we've only um, just shifted out of the beach for the last six weeks, and that we just float them out there now, but um, it is a pretty, pretty hard decision to make, like, um, it's such a great place to train from, Davy and Caffs, and I just sort of had to make my mind up, we'll just have one stable or two, so it's, it's working out good, but yeah, you do you do miss the, do miss the beach, it was great. Davy's place was sensational, I, saw, I interviewed Johnny Dickey there, and uh, yeah, just a lovely place, got a Great, great feel to it. Yeah, yeah, they're like my second parents, Davey and Cass. I know they're, they're great to me and help get me going. So, yes, yeah, it was tricky, but now hopefully it all works out. Bit of a scare the other day too with the fires, unfortunately. A bit close to home for you as well. I mean, luckily, like you didn't have horses there, but you you know, they're a bit close to home. Yeah, it was unreal, really. Um, I couldn't believe the amount of people that just chipped in. I think yeah, Gav Smith put a thing on Facebook and there was, there was people for miles. Like, you know, it's an unreal effort to get all RJ and Johnny's horses and, Jenna's out of there so quick. I think I got sixty something out of there. So, and hope he got a, he got a few out. So it's just it's just phenomenal when I walk around there and you look at all these horses and you think they were gone within an hour or so. Like it's just amazing. Yeah, no, I, was, I called in there and it was running like clockwork. Like they just load one float up and and drive out. So they had plenty of helpers. It was great to see. It's a great industry, the harness racing industry. I know there's always ups and downs and things like that, but it, at the end of the day, it is a lot of fun and it's a great industry to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, it's always good. But even this time of year, mate, like she's she's pretty special time great thing to be a part of 
No runners in the cup. Um, you had Terry last year. He's going around, I think, in the junior free-for-all. He's in a junior free-for-all. So him and Coravelli star and his, his four others. So, um, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll go all right. We've got a big day hobbling up tomorrow. So Sundays. Yeah. No one likes Sundays either. Yeah, it's sort of got to be done. Like this time of year, you don't you don't worry too much about that. It's just another day. I've got a funny eye, mate, if you're wondering what's going on. I ain't winking at you. The, 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 <laughs> the, sun, the sun gives me the glare. I have got me sunny sun glasses here. What's your best chance tomorrow? Ah, jeez, put me on the spot there. There's no races tomorrow, mate. The Tuesday. So Tuesday is what I meant. <laughs> uh, I'll probably go, have to go Coral Valley Star a place because, yeah, Republican Party's in there. He's, he's a, looks like a super wee horse, so if we're running second to him, we'll be pretty happy. He's a super wee horse just to look at that Republican Party, isn't he? I, there's a lot of the really nice types of horses that get around. It's, a great, it's going to be a great meeting. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, yeah, it's it's um, you know you're looking forward to a beer at the finish anyway, but it's a it's a big day, but yeah, it's it's great to be part of. You don't enjoy a beer, do you? No, no, just just waters, mate, waters. Regan, <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks for giving me a bit of time, mate, and uh, I'll catch you Tuesday. Hopefully, you get a winner. No, all good. Cheers.